Hello YouTube. Let's talk about September 2021 events uh, that took place on the 9th. Um, about that time, a strange object flew over Lake Onega around 2300 hours on, on September 9th. That's in the northern Russia, by the way. Many citizens witnessed an unusual phenomenon. A glowing object appeared over the lake and flew towards Salominoa and seemed to disappear into the sky. Eyewitnesses managed to capture this object in the photo. Um, guys, just look at what we managed to capture on the embankment. An eyewitness shared his uh, thoughts on the social network there. A woman was walking home with her children and also observed a flying object. To be honest, I'm still under the impression and I can't even tell you what it is. I would like to know myself, she stated. It flew for a very long time and then disappeared from our field of view, uh, the Petrozavodsk resident uh, said uh, to Russia's news channels. Surprisingly, the same flying object was seen at the same time in Medvedegorsk and in Kim. This was reported by users uh, in their comments. By the way, Petrozavodsk is the capital city of the uh, Republic of Karelia, of the Russian uh, Federation, which stretches along the western shore of Lake Onega for some 27 kilometers, 17 miles. Uh, the city of uh, Medvedegorsk is located also in the Republic of Karelia. It is the administrative center of the Medvedegorsk district. It stands on the shore of Lake Onega and the distance to Petrozavodsk is 152 kilometers. Now, Murmansk is a port city and the administrative center of Murmansk Oblast or a region in the far northwest part of Russia. It sits on both slopes and banks of a modest uh, fjord, Kola Bay, and um, a stitcherine inlet of the Barents Sea. It's uh, uh, most of the areas on the east bank of the inlet. It is in the north of the rounded Kola Peninsula, which covers most of the region. This, um, the city itself uh, is 108 kilometers from or 67 miles from the border with Norway and 182 kilometers 113 miles from the Finnish border and distance from uh, Murmansk uh, to Petrozavodsk is not as important as the distance from Petrozavodsk to Kandalaksha which is 605 kilometers or 376 miles and here is why because the residents of the Murmansk region noticed a UFO in the sky over Kandalaksha uh, so the news came on September 10 uh, that uh, something resembling a shooting star or a meteorite was noticed last night in Kandalaksha local residents filmed what they saw on video and posted it on the network in the frames you can see how a man takes pictures on a mobile phone of a round strangely moving haze in the sky. Later users of the social network Vkontaktia joined, joined the discussion on the mysterious object. Many admitted that they had seen something like that. Also, at 23 hours uh, I was on the street it's something like a meteorite. It fell for some time, leaving a trail, then its glow took the form of a circle and it began to descend lower and lower to the ground, wrote one of the local residents. Uh, please see the link uh, to the Russia website with that video in the description to my video here. Now, as for Kandalaksha, this is the territory of Russia that contains ancient mysterious stone labyrinths, mazes that resemble complex modern arrays or antennas. The age of them is about 5,000 years. Nickname for the mazes among the local population was Babylons, but now one, no one remembers why. The mazes are very similar to the ones depicted on ancient Minoan coins. 
There is more about the labyrinths in our books co-authored with Phil Mantle. Now, I learned about those mazes back in the 1980s uh, from Russian archaeologists who worked in the region. More people should learn about this national treasure of Russia. They are scattered in several Russian northern areas. And there is paranormal phenomena associated with them. Maybe someday we will solve those enigmas. But UFOs have been sighted in that area a number of times. That's just the modern humans who started recording the visits. What about millennia ago? And of course, there are USOs down below. I remember finding mention of underwater humanoids in the White Sea area from the 1930s Soviet um, materials. It complemented my main research of the Baikal underwater humanoids. And you can find my research about the underwater humanoids in the playlist in my channel. Now, by the way, a strange object in the sky was recently observed by residents of the Sverdlovsk region. Many suggested that they were lucky enough to see evidence of the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization. But later it turned out that this object was a Soyuz 2.1b launch vehicle. So, okay, what about September 9, 2021? What does the Russian Ministry of Defense reveal? Well, from September 10 to 16, 2021, in accordance with the plan of joint training of the armed forces of the Russian Federation and the Republic of Belarus, a joint strategic exercise, Zapad 2021, would be held under the leadership of the chiefs of the general staffs of the armed forces of the two countries. Practical actions of the troops or forces started simultaneously at nine ranges located on the territory of the Russian Federation in the Baltic Sea, as well as five ranges in the Republic of Belarus. The Joint Strategic Exercise Zappa 2021 involves about 200,000 military personnel, more than 80 aircraft and helicopters, up to 760 units of military equipment, including more than 290 tanks, more than 240 artillery guns, multiple rocket launchers and mortars, as well as up to 15 ships. Okay, what about missiles and so forth? All I found out is that the unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs or LAN for post, are used during the joint exercises uh, Zappa 2021 at the ranges uh, Pravdinsky and Kmilovka of the Baltic Sea by units of the Army Corps of the Baltic Sea Fleet and um, units of the airborne troops. Well, what about the missiles? No confirmation so far. But the ministry announced that on September 11, the crew of the submarine successfully completed the assigned task and fired torpedo weapons from an underwater position at conditional sea targets, which were uh, simulated at an acceptable safe distance by the ships of the Baltic fleet. The firing was ca carried out by four practical torpedoes. After the completion of the events, all the torpedoes were lifted out of the water by a torpedo boat. The effectiveness of the use of a torpedo weapons by the submarine crew uh, will be evaluated after receiving data on the guidance of torpedoes in the laboratory. Now, the, bo the vessels of the Project 877 Varsavyanka they are the lowest noise Russian submarines, which is explained by the absence of noisy power units, a verified streamlined shape, and a special hydroacoustic coating of the hull. In the West, for the high secrecy of this class of submarines, uh, they received the respectful name Black Hole. Submarines of this series can counteract both underwater and surface ships and are designed to protect naval bases. The sea coast and sea communications. Well, I hope they did not hit a USO in the process. Anyway, as of now, no news about the military missiles or torpedoes or new kinds of weapons fired in their northern Russia on September 9, 2021. So let's wait and see. I thank you for your attention. 
I thank those who support me and ask those who can, please support my efforts. You will find the links in the description to this video. Please also subscribe to my channel and tell others and stay tuned for more videos.